first yesterday's near miss. It happened in a narrow section of the channel between Naval Base Point Loma and Naval Air Station, North Island. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas is live with the investigation into what happened. Sierra? This is the bay that close call happened in Kimberly and a maritime expert I spoke to says that if the two would have collided, it would have been a very bad day in the bay. Now the US Navy is investigating. These are the moments it looks like two Navy warships were traveling head on in the San Diego Bay Tuesday before turning to avoid each other. The Navy confirms to ABC 10 News the ships were the USS Momsen and the USS Harper's Ferry. The big question is how they got into that situation. Sal Mercogliano is a maritime expert. He breaks down what he sees on the video captured by San Diego webcam that has since gotten the attention of hundreds of people. He says normally ships would pass on the right side of each other at all times. So you'd be on the right side of the channel, the other ones would be on the right side, and you pass uh, port to port, as it's called, on the left side. Instead, what happened is the ships wound up in a meeting situation. The video was captured around 1020. The Navy says the two ships were moving in opposite directions in the bay in close vicinity. They confirm no one was hurt, but they are investigating the incident. Mercogliano thinks it was an issue of communications. The ships knew uh, each was coming in and out of the port at that time. The question is, did they communicate a passage beforehand? It came in a very narrow part of the channel when they were both making turns. The Momsen is not home ported in San Diego, so there's a question about their familiarity with the channel. Now, while that video was very compelling, the maritime expert says the angle could have been distorted, but nonetheless, he says those two ships should have never been in that situation. We'll keep you posted on that investigation as it continues to roll out. For now, live in Shelter Island, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.